one regret that I do have is Hey everyone, it's me. <laughs> just editing this video at the minute and I'm just rewatching it and I'm like, oh my god, for people who don't know me, they're going to think that I'm either really cheeky or really sarcastic. Please go with a sarcastic one because some of the things that I'm saying, I'm like, are people going to know that I'm joking? Do you know what I mean? So if there's any a point in this video where you're like, oh my god, she's so cheeky or she's serious, like, I'm more than likely joking. So I uh, just take everything I say with a pinch of salt. And number two, I didn't realise how awful the tan on my hands was when I recorded this video so please just ignore it and pretend that we nobody can see it um it's honestly disgusting so just thought it Mickey's aware um I basically that's it bye hey everyone it's Sophie welcome back to my channel so for this wee video of the day I decided to do a get to know me question answer kind of thing it's kind of rude of me not to um, have already done this but sure here we go I'm doing it now I feel like I haven't uploaded a video in a while long but there's just oh my god there's such a big story behind this let me just tell you let me brief this blah, blah, briefly I ordered a new camera I'm gonna say it was like two or three ordered the camera anyway and um didn't check the date that it was going to be delivered on. So I was like, this camera's taking way long to come. Went on and it was being delivered between the 28th of May and the 3rd of June. So I was like, hmm, that's not really ideal. Like, hmm, so I, that wasn't really a smart move. I had to go back on, but I had to make sure that it was coming soon. Wednesday, it's now Friday. Um, I paid £9, well, £9.99 for, like, delivery. I understand there's a pandemic going on. Like, delivery isn't going to be, like, spick and span. But... If I pay £10 for a delivery, um, it should be delivered on the day that, you know, like, it said that it was going to be delivered on. It was, they were like, right, it'll be delivered on Wednesday. No, didn't come on Wednesday. My mum was like, no, Sophie, no, it probably might not come. And I was like, no, pay 99 or £9.99 for a delivery. It'll be here on Wednesday. It said it'll be here on Wednesday, so it'll be here on Wednesday. Got an email on Wednesday. Oh, looks like your order's been delayed. It'll be here within the next 20, 40, 48 hours. So I was like, hmm, not ideal, really. So first they came camera didn't come but now it's friday and i woke up and the camera was here let's just say it's been a bit of a it's been a bit of a bumpy ride but we're here now anyway that's not really the point i'm gonna be doing this video anyway to help you get to know me a wee bit because i haven't i haven't even done one of these videos but put it up on my instagram why am i talking like that i put it up on my instagram um if you wanted to ask me any questions i was like sophie why are you doing this because no one's probably even going to ask you any questions no one really gives a shit well when I checked my phone, you give me questions. I counted them there like 36 people asked me questions. I'm sorry, like, does that mean I'm famous? 36 people. I don't even know 36 people. Like, I don't, I don't even know 36 people or anything. Oh my God, that was mad. And I was like, oh my God, 36 people asked me questions. Woohoo. So anyway, I'm just going to jump onto them now. So, so someone asked what age are you? I am 20. One. 21. 21. Ah, uh, that's basically it. My birthday's in July. Macamelio. Ah, uh, so someone asked then, who is your most longest friend? Um, probably Holly, you know. I'm trying to think of um people like before school. I know it's going to have to be Holly. Uh, can we pause this a minute? Is anyone else obsessed with these iced coffees? Oh my God. I don't know like what it is, but I'm just obsessed. Like this is my second one today and it is 20 to three, quarter to three. This is my second iced coffee. Look, who am I? I do have matching straws in my outfit. What you can have? Ah, yum. Right. Next question. My favourite meal of the day? Hmm. That's a good one. I'm going to say, on the days where I actually wake up early, which is very, very not so often, I'm going to say breakfast, but then days where you're like, you sleep in and you're like, oh, you just feel like I'm a slug. Am I right? I'm right. Depends, right? So, favourite meal on a day that I wake up early is breakfast, but favourite meal on a normal day. <laughs> so, like, dinner. I'm always hungry by dinner time, or else I'm dinner time oh, why am i going into so much detail dinner time is either hit or miss i'm either absolutely starving or i'm absolutely full up because i've eat i've ate so much shit because i'm just a greedy bitch and i can't wait until my dinner's actually ready um sorry hold up a minute as well for anyone that follows me on instagram right you'll know that last night i made rice krispie treats can i just talk like a notion to make them so i was like oh my god i go to the shop it's crispies marshmallows butter so easy to make you just melt the butter put the marshmallows on mix them put the rice krispies on like it's not that hard um anyway for anyone that follows me on Instagram, you'll see the finished product and you'll also see that I was stirring the butter and the marshmallows with a plastic spatula. So then whenever I put the mixture out, it's like putting it on the thing and I looked at the, the plastic spatula inside a picture here. About 10 centimetres of the plastic spatula was missing and I was like, I was like, where? I was like, mommy, I was like, I was like, what? I was so confused. She's like, I told you not to use that, pl that plastic spatula. And I was like, what? Why? Because it would melt. And I was like, no, it wouldn't. No, no. 
Little did I know she meant it would melt and the liquid and melt within the Rice Krispies. So now there's a whole tray of Rice Krispies down the stairs and well, I'm gonna be honest, last night I was really scared. I was like, no, we can't eat them. Like we're gonna eat the Rice Krispies and then obviously there's gonna be like plastic in our stomach. That's not gonna be well. Are we gonna have to go to the doctors? Not the doctors, the hospital. And anyway, cut a long story short, at the Rice Krispies treats. So now I'm sitting waiting for some sort of pain in my stomach because I've ate actual plastic. But um, so far so good, nothing's, nothing's different. I don't feel any different. Last night I was lying in my bed and I was like, oh my God, what if I stop breathing during the night? Like what if the plastic like melts under my like lungs and stuff? And, that didn't happen, I woke up fine this morning. You know, the, the concern is still there. Anyway, back to the questions, I know that was so irrelevant. When asked then, Zara or Detox Center, choose. Uh, I'm gonna have to say Zara. Sorry, sorry, don't hit me. Another question then was, oh, it wasn't even a question. So 35 questions. Someone said, loving your videos, keep it up. Thank you. Love you. You're true OG. Someone said, somewhere you really want to visit um this is a hard one because i really want to go everywhere. if i had to choose one place bali definitely one or thailand me and holly were all about going to bali this year but obviously little miss corona got in the way and she just cancelled all kind of plans for summer so that's not happening anytime soon but i would definitely say bali or thailand but if i had to choose one i'd probably say bali so someone said so nice someone said how's your day going so far um, right, what have my leg ones for? I know it's going good. Just had lunch. Just waffles and beans, not really exciting. My camera came today, so that's a bonus. I um, got a shower, which is also a bonus. Fresh. Feeling good. Like I should. It's sunny, it's a lovely day. I'm on my second iced coffee and life's good from the whole uni work it's building up but we're not talking about that. Then someone asked, whoa, this is juicy. Something nobody knows about you, wow. I have something pops out in my head here at the moment but I don't know if it's like if I should say it because why would I ruin myself on the internet like that but you know I'm just gonna say it anyway I used to pee the bed when I say that I mean like not now obviously Jesus I'm 21 I'm, I'm over it like primary school is a constant bed pusher I just I don't know what was wrong with me I had to go to the doctors and get a nose spray it was like magic looking back I never ever ever used to like it never used to happen whenever I had this nose spray but when the nose spray ran out or I forgot the ticket it was just like oh my god it was like a waterfall just, just I don't know. But it wasn't just like I was lying in bed. Like I was sleeping, like I was dreaming and stuff. So I don't know. Right. Uh, no one else knows that about me. Ah! Why ruin myself? Like I don't have to know. I don't really care. I'm here to be real. I'm just being me. Someone said, what is the first thing you're going to do after COVID-19? Wow. I'm going to go and get my eyebrows done for a start. Um, actually, I have so many things. Some bed, hair done, go for food. I had to pick one up with my eyebrows. You don't even want to see them. Someone then said, hmm. My reply to that is, Someone then said, Wait, these are really like getting down and dirty. Do you have any regrets? Wow, that's really deep. <sighs> Do you have any regrets? I've never actually thought about that before. The only, like it's not really that deep I suppose, but one regret that I do have is not keeping on a language at school. So weird, like it's the first thing that pops to my head, but I didn't do Irish. I wish, I wish, 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 wish I could speak Irish. I just don't. I did do French in school and I wish I had kept it on. Summer holidays are like in Spain. Anytime I'm there, I'm like, oh my God, I really wish I could speak Spanish. Either or would do. I really don't mind. I prefer Spanish because Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. They have like a wee, a wee senora in the middle of the day, which is an app, which I am good at. If I was to learn one language, that wasn't the question. What am I on about? I actually just chat so much shit. Favor? Mm -mm -mm. Well, I can't speak French. Bonjour, je m'appelle Sophie. Mon anniversaire, c'est le 31 juillet. We're got out. Another question. This is like a wee bit concerned. Someone said, where about do you live? Do you live in... <coughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm a wee bit scared. How do you know where I love? Question that asked, yes, I do love there. Please don't kill me in my sleep. Okay, next question. Someone said, what job do you see yourself doing in the future? And something like your degree, question mark? So, this is the thing. I'm a lazy... But whenever I see my future, I'm like, I just really want to have all the money. Like, don't have to work for it. So obviously that's completely unrealistic. Like, that's never going to happen. More a footballer could be. You want to have your own money too. I don't know. I'm going to say obviously it's something to do with fashion because I can't really see myself literally doing anything else. Before Christmas, I had an interview for ASOS. Oh my God, I know. Stop. stop. I don't get it as well, by the way, just before anyone starts to get excited for me. ASOS to do PR um, internship for a year down in London. Thanks ASOS for crushing my actual dreams. Got declined from it. Happy days. We'll not talk about it. I feel like that would be like my dream job. Internship for PR. I don't really know how to describe PR, but it's like public, re blah, blah, blah. public relations for ASOS. Look, 
that was actually let's go and do like events party and obviously not that's that's not what your job was like but it's like doing like the social i think in a way doing like social media like all that good stuff my god like that would have been so much fun i actually hate whoever got that job <sighs> Anyway, I would be something to do with that, something to do with like PR or fashion, something to do with merchandise because buying is just, wow, buying is so much work. I'm already, I'm not about that life. I can't really pinpoint it at the minute, but all I really know is I want to have loads of money. So, someone said, advice to someone who really wants to do a YouTube but is too scared, love your vids, XX. Thank you. Actually, sorry, well, everyone is so nice. It actually makes my life. Advice on someone that wants to do YouTube, I would just say literally just do it. It's like easier said than done. I know that it's not, it's not just as easy as being like, right, I don't care, I'm gonna stack up YouTube. If you're anything like me, you think everything. You're like, should I do this? What if people say this? What if this doesn't, what if I look like this? Oh my God, you have like a million things going on in your head, but then you just get to a stage in your life where you're like, I don't care, like I don't care. Maybe it's like a bad thing. Like a couple of years ago, I would have never, oh my God, I would have never have even dreamed of sitting here doing this. Like I would have loved it on it, but I would have been like, no, I can't, like I just physically can't. No, I'm, I think it's just growing up. Like you just be like, I really don't care. Like I don't care what other people think. People are really gonna love you or they're gonna hit you. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And my advice would just be just do it. Don't care what other people think because it's just your life, do you know what I mean? If someone is gonna make you happy, then just do it. Like, just do stuff for yourself. If it's gonna make you happy, then just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Someone said they had Manchester or Derry. This is a hard one because um, I genuinely do like love the both places. But if I had to choose one, sorry, mommy, I would love in Manchester or well, I would choose Manchester. I think a bird just died in front of me and I just love Manchester so much. So I would have to choose Manchester. So someone then said, determined, passionate, looking for a side hustle. I'm recruiting for my business. As soon as, as long as you're 18 or over, drop me a message and a follow for more info. Oh my God. Rude. Okay, so I'm not going to be doing that. So, next question. Someone asked then, what is your favourite thing to do? That actually is a good question because I don't really know. But if I had to choose one thing, so in quarantine or like isolation or lockdown, whatever you want to call it, my favourite thing to do these days is either between lying and watching Netflix or going for my, going for my hour walk, especially with the weather now. Like, it's like, it's so nice. So, like, I like, I enjoy going we walk. Only if it's warm, like if it's raining, I'm not going to walk. That's why I just love the heat. If it's not warm and it's raining, I would just lie on the sofa and watch Netflix. You can't beat that, like, you know what I mean? Just putting your feet up, like, watching, like, 900 episodes. So, I restarted Power last night. Mommy, so me and hers watching that. So, someone got shot last night. She was like, ah, do you want to watch? I was like, oh my God, you're so dramatic. Right. Oh, best Netflix show. That's the next question. So, this is such a hard, my top two. Gossip Gear and Prison Break. I I just, oh, I don't even have any words to describe them. They're such different, complete ep uh, opposite ends. Opposite ends of like the spectrum, Netflix genres, if that makes sense. Gossip Girl is literally about these rich ass people in New York, in like teenagers, in like high school and like going into uni. Oh my God, I can't, if you haven't watched Gossip Girl, shame on you, get on it, watch it. Then Prison Break, like I'm such a weirdo, like, not that Prison Break's about murder and, well, I don't, I don't know. Don't want to run a freeze like, but it's like murder, shooting, killing. Then gossip girl's like, mm, we go for brunch. I love them both of them. Can't physically choose. And they're like my two babies, so I can't choose between them. Next question then, someone said, where do you get your cloths? I get my cloths in, I'm going to not think you mean clothes. I get most of my clothes on ASOS. I won't really order off anywhere else. I'm definitely going to say ASOS because I'm trying to think of like parcels that be delivered to my house and they're all like 100% ASOS. So someone said, hey, this is my reply. Hey. Next question then was, who is your favourite world head? Let me think of all the people I know in the world and then I'll choose my favourite with there. Oh, that's right. I only know one person from the world. Um, and it's you, love yeah. Shout out. Okay, so another question then was, favourite foundation? Free match is the number one. Like she is up there. It's just, I'm going to say free match. I think it's L'Oreal. I'm not sure. A question then, what is your dream job? That's actually quite a hard one because as I said, I don't really like working. I don't like the whole idea of having to go to work. Um, if I had to choose somewhere where I like am the boss, so like if you wanted to have a day off, you could, you know what I mean? Or if you wanted to go on holidays for a week in the middle of September, you could, you know what I mean? Uh, somewhere where I'm the boss, I'm the CEO, kind of like P. Louise. She is a boss bitch. She is the CEO. I just want that. Right, another question then. Wow, I'm so lucky today. Hello, you have been chosen to be an iPhone 11 when I replied to claim. Ah. Do I look, like, do these people think I look stupid? They, like, go onto my Instagram and be like, she looks stupid enough to fall for this, let's DM her and tell her she's won an iPhone 11. Because I'm not. I'll tell you that now for sure. That was good. I nearly fell for that one. Another question then was, can I be in your next video? Um, obviously not because we're in lockdown. Are you going to break the rules here? Uh, I'm joking. Not whenever lockdown's over, you can for sure be on my video. So then someone asked, one thing you probably, or possibly, probably could, 
couldn't live without my phone. It has to be my phone or my laptop. Another question then was, do you eat healthily? Absolutely not. Someone then said, nice question, thanks. Another question, well this isn't really a question, like I really thought there was 36 questions here, but there's not. Someone just said, you refire. Thank you. Taking that as a compliment. Fire, like wow, fire. Well, another question then was, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Right, well what age? But I'm gonna be 31 in 10 years. 31, it's disgusting. Be married, children or two. Hopefully have a dog, have my own house. Hopefully be a millionaire, that's pretty much it. And a job. Someone said that quote you live by, like bye. Everything happens for a reason. You know that's so cheesy and cringy, but I truly believe it. Like, and that's why I'm like so laid back about life these days. I'm just like, whatever's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Like, uh, I can't change it. Like, it literally be raining outside, and I'm like, right, God doesn't want me to go a walk today. Maybe like someone's car would swerve and they would hit me on the path. That's why it's raining. That's why I don't go a walk. Am I just weird or I don't know? That's all the questions answered now. <coughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed film filming in it. I enjoyed recording it. If you have any more questions or anything, just let me know. Ask me down below or Instagram or anything like that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. All that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.